question number 16 so we have a graph whose title is china's imports by type between the years 2000 to 2006 and on the x-axis we have ordinary imports processing with assembly processing with inputs y-axis we have imports in hundreds of millions of dollars and the range is from 0 to 3500 and we have these uh, color codes for the year 2000, 2003 and 2006. A student is researching the Chinese government's 1992 shift to a market economy that emphasizes trade liberalization. One means of trade liberalization involves expanding from ordinary imports into an emphasis on processing imports, which have two types, processing with assembly in which a firm obtains raw materials from a foreign trading partner without payment and sells the final goods to that partner, charging for assembly, and processing with inputs, in which a firm expends capital to buy raw materials from a trading partner, processes them into final goods, and sells those goods to whichever trading partner it chooses. The student asserts that while initial efforts at trade liberalization were shaped by Chinese firms, limited capital, this situation resolved during the 2000s. So we can observe that initially ordinary imports were quite high only in the year 2000, 2003 and 2006. But that is the Chinese government after that wanted to make a shift, 1992 shift to a market economy that emphasizes trade liberalization. After that, processing with assembly and processing with inputs came into the picture. And the difference between them has been described, processing with assembly and processing with inputs. Which choice best describes data from the graph that support the student's assertion? A. Processing imports with inputs were greater than both ordinary imports and processing imports with assembly in 2006. B. From 2000 to 2006, Processing imports with inputs rose much more sharply than processing imports with assembly did. C. From 2000 to 2006, neither processing imports with inputs nor processing imports with assembly were greater than ordinary imports. D. Processing imports with assembly were greater in 2006 than processing imports with inputs in 2000. So, what is the student's assertion? The student has asserted that while initial efforts at trade liberalization were shaped by the Chinese firm's limited capital, this situation resolved during the 2000s. So initially, they, the Chinese firms did not have money to do the processing with inputs. They had, they had little money. So they were processing with assembly. So in processing with assembly, they just take the raw materials from a foreign trading partner without payment. They don't have enough money to make the payment. And because of that, they sell the final goods to that partner after just charging for the assembly. So they are only able to charge for the assembly because they are only able to take the raw materials without payment. So they can only sell the final goods to that same partner by just charging for assembly. Later, they started having more enough capital or in other words money. So they are able to uh, do the processing with inputs. The firm is able to buy raw material from the trading partner, process them into final goods and then they can choose also. Whoever trading partner they want, they can choose to sell. So that is the difference. So you can see that processing with assembly in 2006, it's quite less. Whereas processing with inputs, they are able to increase slowly. From 2000, 2003, 2006, it has increased considerably, processing with inputs. That means the firm started having money. So if you said B, well done, that is the correct answer. Choice B is the best answer because it describes data from the graph that best support the student's assertion that initial efforts at trade liberalization in China were shared by firms having limited capital, that is assets available for use, and that this situation resolved during the 2000s. The text explains that an approach to trade liberalization Engaging in processing imports, one type of which doesn't require payment to a trade partner that is processing with assembly and one type which requires upfront payment to a trade partner for raw materials that is processing with inputs. The graph which presents China's imports for ordinary imports and both types of processing imports in the years 2000, 2003 and 2006 shows that while processing imports with assembly rose from, from about $250-$100 million in 2000 to about 7 
hundred and fifty hundred million dollars in two thousand six. In the year two thousand, this is between zero and five hundred. So that is around two hundred and fifty hundred million dollars in two thousand to about. Later, by two thousand six, it reached seven hundred and fifty hundred million dollars in two thousand six. Then later, we will now compare with processing with inputs. Processing with inputs rose much more sharply, increasing from a, approximately six fifty hundred million dollars. Now, here you see in two thousand it is six fifty million dollars, and in two thousand to about two thousand three hundred million dollars. Then it has become two thousand three hundred million dollars by two thousand six. Because processing with inputs requires firms to pay for materials, expending capital, and processing with assembly doesn't. The sharper rise in processing imports with inputs suggests that Chinese firms' assets and thus their ability to engage in that type of processing imports were relatively limited in and before 2000, and then substantially increased from 2000 to 2006. In other words, the data suggests that the situation of having limited capital resolved during the 2000s. So that's what the answer choice says. From 2000 to 2006. Processing imports with inputs rose much more sharply than processing imports with assembly did. A is incorrect because the graph indicates that ordinary imports were greater than both types of processing imports in 2006. Not that processing imports with inputs were greater than ordinary imports and processing imports with assembly that year. Choice C is incorrect because the observation that ordinary imports were greater than both types of processing imports in 2000, 2003, and 2006. Doesn't address the change within any type of imports from 2000 to 2006, and an indication of a change in that period might be related to the availability of assets is needed to support the assertion that the situation of having limited capital resolved during the 2000s. D is also incorrect because the fact that processing imports with assembly were greater at the end of the period from 2000 to 2006 than processing imports. With inputs, where at the start of the same period doesn't address a change within either type of imports during the period, and an indication of such a change that might be related to the availability of assets is needed to support the assertion that the situation of having limited capital resolved during the two thousands.